Hey guys, today we are in Audi Q7 with MMI MIP2 based infotainment system and we are going to install more incredible bash. This is a an, an toolbox in addition to the green engineering menu which will allow you to do all kinds of uh, all kinds of uh, cool stuff with the system. So first of all, we want to check what system is installed in the car, if it's actually the MIP2 based system and we need to go into red menu. To do this, we need to push the left switch and pull the right switch starting with this one. So I'm going to do it like this. And uh, after three seconds or so, we should see the engineering red menu on the display. And over here we are scrolling down to the version information. And we can see that the software train is starting with MHI2. Q. So this is MIP2 based, uh, MIP2 high system and uh, it's supported by the toolbox so we are good to go. So right now let's prepare the uh, installation. So let's go back to the, uh, to the PC. So first of all, if you are using Mac, it's no good for you. Shut it down and find someone with uh, Windows PC. And over here we are going to go to this address, mib.mibsolution.1 and over here there are some files that we can download and we are looking for the uh, toolbox which is called MIB and there's a version 3.2.0 with the compilation date and this is the thing that we want to download. It's a small file, about 2 megabytes, so it will be downloaded very quickly and after it's downloaded we are going to put it on an SD card. So over here I have an SD card, it's 16 gig, but it's much more than you actually need to this. I believe 4 gigs should be uh, good enough for anything you want to do uh, over here. So here's the SD card, but in, instead of opening it, I'm going to right click and format the SD card just to be sure that it's prepared. So we are going to uh, make sure that the file system is set to FAT32 name is not relevant but let's call it MIB and let's start the formatting and over here on the left side we have the downloaded package it's uh, compressed so we want to right click it and use 7-zip to unzip it extract it okay formatting on the right side is done so let's open the card on the right side and we have the MIB package on the left side and all this, all this stuff over here needs to be copied into, into the SD card on the right. It will take a few seconds. Come on, come on, come on. And right now we want to go over here to the toolbar, to the tray bar, find the device, the SD card and eject the SD card safely just to make sure that all those files were saved correctly and right now we are going back to the car and once again we are in the vehicle the engine is actually running just to make sure that the ignition will stay on and if you have a weak battery risk of the voltage drops maybe that's a good thing to do to keep the engine on during the installation and the system is on give it about one minute before before it's fully loaded and after this um, period of time we can start the installation so i have the sd card over here and we are going to open the glove box in this vehicle and there's a mine unit over here and we are going to put the sd card in the sd1 port like so okay and uh, nothing happens right now but uh, don't worry we need to once again go into the red hidden menu so let's do the switches combination wait about three seconds for the hidden menu to appear on the display and right now we are entering the first option which is update and over here we can see that the sd1 source is available we can select it so let's do it and right now it's checking what's on the SD card. We can see that there's MIB launcher and we can start the, the, the installation. So let's do it right now. Let's select this. Let's scroll all the way down over here. 
and let's run the update and let's confirm that we don't want to interrupt this procedure. So uh, right now the installation is performed and the unit, unit will reboot about three times before everything is done. During this time you don't want to touch anything, so don't interrupt this installation. The screen is dark right now and the unit is rebooting into the uh, software firmware update um, mode. So we will give it a few more seconds, few more minutes and we will uh, check how the installation goes. I believe this is it. So we have the summary of the installation. So let's scroll down to check what was done. Okay, we can see one okay mark over here next to a launcher. No other thing, other things were uh, installed. So we have the continue button over here and cancel over here. And right now we are waiting for the third final reboot. Screen went down. Hopefully it will pop right back over here in a few seconds and after this uh, we will give the system about a minute or so to fully start fully load all the things and we will check if the hidden green menu this time green menu is available for us um, and I believe the installation of this uh, toolbox oh the screen is up installation of this uh, toolbox um, uh, actually is enabling the hidden green menu usually you need a diagnostic tool like VCDS or um, OBD11 to do this but uh, hopefully the green menu over here will be uh, will be available okay so I believe audio is working so that's a good thing let's go to menu maybe we have the menu controls are working and uh, maybe let's check navigation if it's initialized it's okay and right now we are going to enter the hidden green menu to check if the toolbox is installed so the key combination to enter the green menu is left switch forward right switch forward once again starting with the left one so i'm going to push those two forward at the same time wait about three seconds watching the display and here we are in the green menu and uh, is, uh, and we have the nib option over here next to the production so Production is your stock uh, green engineering menu and we are going to enter the MIB, the additional toolbox that were that was just installed over here. And we have this disclaimer over here about being safe and not paying for this because this is a free extension. And if we go over here, we have a lot of cool options for your system. And keep in mind that you can easily, easily use those uh, options to break your system, break it. So first thing that you should do if you want to touch anything over here is backup, full system backup. But uh, over here right now, let's just, uh, let's just check system information. If we can um, read it correctly, I believe it's okay and in config we can see that we can force reboot system we can set the uh, a remote access password to something that we know and we can uninstall the toolbox altogether um, making the system back to the original state and if you want to exit this menu it's as easy as pressing menu and you are back to your normal operation screen over here okay so that's it for today thank you for watching uh, give me thumbs up if you like this simple tutorial and subscribe for future ones. See you soon.